What we cooking today, Al? What we cooking? What we cooking today? We are cooking Chinese curry. Hi, welcome back to Spice and Easy. Another one of our packs, Chinese curry. Funny that is, just told you that before, haven't I? So, in this pack for starters, just spices. No other additives apart from, we do add some curry powder to this. Chinese curry has to have that curry powder flavor. So we have to add that as well as our other mix of spices. Um, so in the curry powder, there is mustard, celery, and salt. So just be aware of that. If you've got any allergies to mustard, it is in here and celery. Um, as I say, we can't do anything about that because we do have some curry powder to it, which has got those in it. So we can't take I'm not sitting there with tweezers picking it all out for you. What's the matter with you? Also, there is flour in this. Chinese curry, synonymous for when you're making it, it has that flour in it. Um, so again, if you've got a wheat allergy, one to avoid. Other than that, just spices. Really nice flavour. Same as your takeaway. The only difference is, if you've had a takeaway before from a Chinese, now, what happens 20 minutes after you've eaten it? You're hungry again. You're thirsty. And you're hungry again. That's the MSG. Monosodium glutamate, and I actually said it correctly, um, the Chinese do pull a lot of that in. If you don't know what that is, it's a flavour enhancer, so it does bring out the flavour more, but it's not that good for you. So you don't want it in there. With this, it will taste just like your Chinese takeaway, a good Chinese curry, but better for you because it's not got that MSG in it. Now, the gloopiness, if that's a word, gloopiness, look it up, because I don't know if it is, or I've just invented one for the Oxford English Dictionary. Um, that gloopiness, you know, when it sticks to the inside of your tubs, the next morning it's like someone's got some orange super glue in there. That's the MSG that makes it stick. So you will know it's slightly different consistency, but it tastes the same. There is some of our customers absolutely going mad on this and not just for rice, Chinese chicken curry on a jacket potato in the winter, oh, so nice. So without further ado, this is what we're cooking. Chinese curry. Let's get straight on, shall we? Let's cook Chinese curry the spice and easy way. Catch you in a moment. About your ingredients for this one spice pack chicken oil tomato puree onions water job done right we'll catch you in a minute <laughs> not really right on your instructions you need one large medium onion finely chopped already done even with a bit of peel on there Ugh, get out you didn't see that right medium large onion finely chopped medium stroke large i've told you before if you don't know what i mean by that you can use a medium or you can use a large or you can use one in between. 60 mils of cooking oil, as always is the case just lately. I'm not using that, I'm using rapeseed oil. Until I find out that it's not as healthy as olive oil, I'm gonna keep using it. And no one's dropped me any comments to let me know. So, do so, do it, do it now, do it, do it now. Uh, next one, water. Half a pint, there's a bit more in there. Then half a pint, not half a pint, we're going 300 mils because nobody deals with pints apparently now and half a pint is 284 point something 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 mils 300, it's near enough There's just over 300 mils of water there because I'm using some of it to make the paste at the start as always One spice pack As I've said before, if you've not got the spice pack, you've not got a curry It's uh Pretty obvious, really. Tomato puree. I'm reading the instructions, that's why I keep going quiet, because I've not put them in front of me. One tablespoon tomato puree, or you can have a shot, look. Bit of vodka in there. Take a, it'll be a thick shot, but you can have a, a thick shot, vodka and tomatoes. That's that done. Next one is your three to 400 grams of meat. Chicken, obviously for me. Salt, pepper to taste. That's it, but now 
extras for this one. It's Chinese curry, so as well as the chicken, we've got some thickly sliced mushrooms. They're going to go in as well. And you know when you get your Chinese curry, you've got mushrooms in there normally, as well as the meat. And you have chunkies, chunky monkey, chunky chopped onions. These are actually shallots. I've got some in the fridge, so I didn't know what to do with them. So I thought, that's a good idea. We'll do some chunky chopped onions to go in the Chinese curry. And that is it. Anything else going on there? Anything else going in there? Ooh, what do you think? What else? What else can we add? Um, chilies. Don't want to disappoint you. Don't like to disappoint you. You know we're going to put the chilies in. You don't have to. As it is, it's medium strength and that's it. So don't put these in. You've got a medium strength Chinese curry. Put these in. It's a hot Chinese curry. Technical term there. Huh? Medium or hot. Job done. Right. So let's get on with it. Let's cook Chinese curry the spice and easy way. I'll see you in a mouth. Here's Spoony. He's back. He's back. Trusty Spoon yet again. So onions have been frying away just to cut down a bit of time so you don't get bored. You might get bored of hearing my voice but tough. It's the one I've got. So, onions frying away nicely here. If you can hear other noises, the chicken's sealing on another pan. And I've got the extractor pan on just to get rid of some of the steam. As always, I am looking through the camera while I'm filming this. So, if it goes a bit skew whiffed, it's because it's a different angle from the camera than me actually looking in it. So, going down your instructions as it tells you to do. As always, heat oil over a medium heat. Fry finely chopped onions until soft. Whilst onions are soft, in seal your chosen meat in an alternative pan. Doing that. Um, drain, set aside. Um, so, next one. Add the spice pack to the softened onions. We'll do that now. One spice pack in. Add a splash of water, stir well. Continue to do this until a smooth paste is formed. You know this by now, don't you? You know the score. As always, don't have it too high because the spices will burn. That could be a catchphrase for spice and easy, couldn't it? The spices will burn. Or oh, look for the glaze. It's an idea, merchandise, t-shirts, spice and easy, look for the glaze. We are actually thinking of getting spice and easy t-shirts done with I Tame the Reaper on it, but there wouldn't be many of those sold, I can tell you. So keep stirring this into the paste, there is quite a bit of spice in this, so it does take just a tad longer. Now yeah, it's making the paste now, we're just waiting for that bit of oil, there's not going to be a lot because again I used the spray oil. Um, what that will mean is again, unlike your takeaway, you're not going to have a load of oil. Now I know as a rule, or I've found anyway with takeaways, Chinese curry doesn't have as much oil on top as the Indian ones, but there is still a bit of oil on top. Uh, with this you won't get that, even if you use the 60 mils of oil rather than the spray oil because it's just enough to go into the sauce and we're just about getting there now let's turn that chicken off because that's done let's get in there look let's get in there the glaze we want the glaze it's just there now look you see it just starting to come oil starting to separate that is about there Oh, that's done. Let's stop frying. Let's turn that off. Because if it's too loud, you can't hear my sexy voice. 
Drop your comments below. How sexy is my voice? <laughs> you do, well, what? Well, you don't know because I've not told you yet, but do keep comments coming in to these videos. Drop them below. Um, if we do like some, um, some good comments that is, not sucking up comments, but if you, we do like some of the comments or the different comments, you never know, we may contact you and you might find a little something. What we like at Spice and Easy, Facebook uh, group will know that. We do give back to the Spice and Easy community. So, next on your instructions. You made your paste, add the tomato puree, tomato puree shot, look. <laughs> get out, get out. There we go. Stir well. Now you only want that one tablespoon. Don't just squirt a load in there because it'll end up being red and look more like a, an Indian curry than a Chinese. This red colour will cook out and again it won't look as red as it does on the camera. So I've stirred that 20 seconds or so just to get rid of any bitterness from the tomato puree. Add the water. Oh, I'm not just going to tip it all in in one go. We do that with the tomatoes but with the water just make sure it's nicely stirred, mixed and combined. Now the colour of this off camera because it's looking a lot brighter is very very similar to what you would get from your takeaway. Of course it depends which takeaway you go to. I have had some that are a reddish colour and tasted disgusting. I don't know if it's just me, Chinese curries nowadays don't taste as good as they used to. There's, there's very few that have actually got that really nice Chinese curry flavour and a thick sauce and spicy. Some of them are just like dish water. <laughs> Please tell me that's not what they've used. So that's it, all your water in. Next stage of your instructions, add chosen sealed meat. Now again, if you're vegetarian, uh, you can just use the mushrooms, you can use carrots, chunky onions, chunkies, chunkies, chunky onions, and what else could you put in? Baby corn, you could put baby corn in it, um, you could even put chickpeas in it, I mean chickpeas go with anything, um, and that's it, that's it, you've got Chinese vegetarian curry. And again, if you contact us, you have got wheat allergies. If you don't want it with the flour in, if you're okay with corn flour, um, we can. I have tried it with corn flour and it does work. So we could do that for you as well. Add your chosen sealed meat. Now I'm just going to tip this in. So this could go disastrously wrong. Juices as well. If any goes on the floor, no doubt. The dog will be down in a bit and polish that off, but I've not spilt any. Now it's looking a bit more like a Chinese curry, isn't it? Yeah, hey. Ooh, suits you, Chinese, sir. Next thing, go. Chunkies! Chunky monkey. What's that off? That's something else. I can, I've got the catchphrase, but don't know what it's off. Unless it's what somebody shouted at me last time I went on the beach in my thong. Junkie monkey. Next. I've splashed them again lot. Next. Your mushrooms. I suppose you could put peppers in it as well. That's something else I've just thought of if you're doing a vegetarian one. I think there is somebody on our Facebook group who has cooked this in a vegetarian way. Uh, I can't remember what she put in there. I can't think who it was as well. I think it may have been. You know who you are, Karen. Um, 
if it is you drop your comments below on here tell us what you put in the Chinese curry if you, it was you that did the vegetarian one now that's everything in just remember these are going to cook down a bit so these mushrooms are not going to swarm the pan like they are now they do shrink quite a bit they better do anyway uh, and that's it your last bit on your instructions is well last book one is seasoned with salt and pepper which I ain't got the salt out so I'm going to put that in in a minute um, simmer until sauce is reduced thicken to the required consistency and meat is thoroughly cooked so I'm now going to simmer this for a bit I'm going to go and get a drink non alcoholic nice glass of pop and I shall be back shortly see you in a bit and there we have it Chinese curry nicely simmered now you'll find with this you do have to simmer it a bit longer than the Indian curries that we do because the mushrooms I don't know why they always tend to add a bit of moisture into it so the sauce takes a bit longer to thicken up if you don't want to wait that long you have got flour in the pack so mix a teaspoon of corn flour with a bit of water add that to it and it will thicken the sauce up and you're not going to get too strong a floury taste because there is a bit of flour in here so it's just adding that touch more I've not done that because I want you to see what it's like without the corn flour it's a bit runny I would imagine that you take away so as I say just add that bit of corn flour and it'll thicken it up a bit and we're now going to try and dish this up no doubt I'm going to drip it everywhere looking good though isn't it looking good <laughs> first spoonful look at that you see if I was if I get my tripod if you've got a tripod knocking about you don't want um, I can do this with two hands and I can hold the the dish at the same time and then I'm not going to drip it everywhere am I hashtag buy me a tripod it will thicken slightly as it's cooled down as well because you're not going to have it steaming up surely unless you've got an asbestos mouth um, which I've not so it'll thicken up especially once it's gone on the rice as well or on the jacket spuds we're actually having this tonight as well some basmati a little bit of basmati I love basmati rice. If it's decent quality, I could just eat a dish full of rice on its own. So, there we are. Chinese curry. Tripped on the mat as well. Oh dear. Right, finished results. Now, that looks like a Chinese curry, yeah? You've also got in there, you know, different burnt, well, it's not a spoon, spatula. I think it's a spatula. Burnt spatula, I told you, I love my old implements, don't like buying new ones. I'm going to make a mess of this bowl now, but there's your mushrooms. Chunky monkeys in there. That's nice. So, what we need to do, as always, got to have a little sample. <laughs> Chinese curry. I'll tell you, without, I'll say that without um, spitting the sauce back out. Compared to your Chinese, flavour's the same. But, it because I've used chicken as well, you've got that juices from your chicken adding the flavour. And you've not got the MSG messing everything up. You're getting all the flavours coming through. The nice Chinese curry flavour, the curry powder... The stock that's come out of the chicken, the juices, giving it the flavour. I can actually taste the mushrooms as well. I didn't think mushrooms would flavour it, but they have. And of course, as you can see just there, I've got the extra heat from the chilies coming through. It's nice. It is nice. And another one that we don't have very often because we stick to the red hot curries, but... As with a lot of the packs when I try them and I'm cooking them on here and then I eat them. It's like, why don't we have this more often? So, try it. Lovely Chinese curry. Dishes all messed up. Cookers splashed. What more do you want? 
Uh, I'm not Gordon Ramsay. I don't have somebody coming around wiping up after me and edit it. So, job done. Let's go to... Uh, uh, let's <laughs> do it again. <laughs> Try again. Let's go to final thoughts. I can say it now. There we have it. Chinese curry. Chinese curry. Uh, so, as I said on the intro, there is some flour in this. So, if you've got wheat allergies, you want to avoid that. We can, I think you're okay with corn flour. Um, we can swap it out for corn flour if you contact us first. Also in the curry powder, you have got mustard and celery and salt. So a few extras we don't add to our normal spice packs, but as it's in the curry powder, we can't do much about that. As I said, I'm not picking it out with tweezers. Um, and you can't really get around it, as I know with the Chinese curry, because it needs that curry powder flavor. Taste wise, Tastes just like your takeaway, but it's not thick. It's not that, well, it is thick, but it's not that, I'm going back to that word again, gloopiness. It's not a word, I've looked on the dictionary and it's not in there, so I've invented my own word. It's not got that gloopiness, it's not that stodgy, sickly, super glue texture. But the flavour's there, so it's healthier for you, it's got to be, surely. Um, it, it, I would imagine it's lower fat, because you're not using all the oil you get in your takeaway. So it has to be a bit healthier for you. Nice. As I say, I love it with chicken on a jacket potato. In the winter, get your jacket spuds in the oven, cut your Chinese curry, put it on top. Lovely. Or you can have it with rice if you want. Medium strength. Again, we can do it milder for you. If you contact us, we'll cut back on the chilli that we had. You can make it hotter if you want, like we did. Add some more chillies to it. And that's it. Chinese curry. Try it. Compare it to your takeaway Chinese. You'll probably find with this one, when you've had enough and you're full, you're going to stay full. You're not going to be hungry again 20 minutes later. Or you're not going to drink a gallon of water because all the MSGs made you thirsty. So none of the horrible additives that, uh, that they put in theirs. Try it. Let us know what you think. Drop your comments below, especially if you know about the rapeseed oil, if it is better than olive oil. I should look it up myself, but... I'm a busy man and do like the but like the button do like i'm not editing not cutting that out i make mistakes well, don't we all do click the like button do subscribe let's keep the subscriptions going up come on the more subscriptions the more we can do with the channel drop your comments and that's about it that's all we can do for you spice and easy chinese curry cook the spice and easy way we're signing off yet again we'll catch you very soon see you later